another channel video. Uh, this week I wanted to talk to you about something really cool that I did recently called Blank Slate. It was on a Twitch channel called The Scabby Rooster, which sounds pretty gross, but uh, it was actually really cool. So, in a previous video you saw that I did a LARP uh, called Twin Mask. It was a lot of fun and I highly recommend checking it out. And uh, if you do, please put me down as the person who recommended it to you so I can get all of the skill points ever. So I met some people there who were really, really cool and they were like, hey, do you want to do this thing? It's called Blank Slate. They explained it to me in a really cool way. It's, you know, it's a very interactive LARP live stream where the audience gets to help the story along and choose character names. Okay, I'm going to stop for a second because I want to tell you what LARP means. LARP means live action role play. And there's all different kinds of groups. There's fantasy, there's medieval, there's like, you know, there's, I mean, just anything you can imagine. And there's also unaliving LARP groups who play out an actual, you know what. And anyway, so I heard about this a long time ago in a weird way, not for me, but through somebody else. And anyway, I'll go into that in another video. But I want to play this one because I want you guys to understand what it is, what it what it means. And the reason I got here to this one, I was going to do um, the grub truck video with those guys that sit back and, and watch all those college kids just, you know, running around drunk and high or whatever, depending, you know, whether it's their product or somebody else's or or not at all maybe they're went out and just had you know a good time and has had nice tea who doesn't matter they're being watched and they're being i mean it's it's like stalking in my opinion i mean it's like stalking someone i mean maybe that's what kaylee freaking meant anyway i i don't well, I, all i picture right now is these old middle age to old dudes sitting around with their bellies out eat with a bowl of freaking corn chips next to them and beer dripping down their chin and just you know, oogling and on over the, you know, who, whether it's girls or boys, whatever. But it just makes me, it just creeps me out. And they're everywhere. And I looked it up from the Grub Truck site. I looked up uh, links to it, other other Grub Trucks. And guess what? They're all in some very special hubs. Like, we're going to say, like, Texas? Like, Austin? We're going to say, like, Colorado? Uh, yeah. Um, Seattle? Yeah. So anyway, oh, also we got Canada. So right there I just named almost all, well, maybe three quarters of the people that were at the axe throwing con, the axe throwing um, lumberjack classics with uh, Moscow axe throwing. That was on the, started on the 11th and it went through to the 14th. Some, well, not everybody stayed, but there was like a couple groups that stayed, like Colorado one stayed. And maybe the Canada one stayed too. I'm not positive on that one. I do know the Colorado one stayed though. But anyway, I'm going to get it into this. And I need you to really listen, because there's some things in here that are going to sound so familiar, it's going to make the hair on your arms raise, and you're going to, your eyebrows are going to raise, your stomach's going to probably turn, feel sick for a minute, you're going to have some aha moments, because this is, oh, my heart's pounding right now. It's uh, interesting, okay? All right. We're going to hit it. As Gunther, I was the courtier, the queen's best friend, and uh, this was the voice I used. Um, so my name was Gunther, and uh, yes, it was a lot of fun. I, I had a great time, you know, and uh, going around the castle and stuff, but let me, uh, I'll take over from here, Wes, thank you very much, and uh, you know, I'll do the explaining. Okay, so how, to, how it works is uh, pretty much we have four player characters. Of them. And they don't really remember much. They're, they're, you know, they've got their, their little personality quirks and stuff, and you know, they're hopping in and out and you're checking out different rooms, but they don't really know what's going on. And then you've got NPCs like me, so non-playable characters, but we are playable characters. It's, it's, a, it's a weird, it's a weird, weird situation. Okay. Um, so we don't have any memory issues, but we are very tied into the storyline. So we have our backstory and things like that, and we have our own political motives. So it's kind of a political murder mystery LARP live stream. Yes, that's a pretty good way to do it. Live and, you know, stream, I had a lot guys. of fun hopping in as Gunther, which I didn't have a name before, and I was named by the stream. And you get to do different things by either donating or subscribing. It's, it's a lot of fun. And, uh, 
yeah, it, it, it was a blast. I had a really good time. I, I like live streaming and I love, you know, doing improv and acting and things like that. So getting to play uh, someone fun like this was a, was a blast. And by the end of the stream, I felt like I was the character. It was a lot of fun. Um, and I'm trying to seize power now. My best friend, the Queen, has been murdered. And uh, I am not only trying to track down the culprit, but I'm trying to use it to my advantage as well. And it's something very cool because uh, toward the end of the stream, like the first half, everyone was kind of getting, you know, That's my chair, sorry, mate. <laughs> everything, trying to figure out the different characters and how they tied into each other. And by the end of the stream, everyone was like, I want to keep going. And like, let's just keep going for another eight hours. Eight That's hours? Me. I'm, I'm down. Did you uh, say eight hours? And, you know, uh, I really wanted to keep it going. It was, a, it was a ton of fun. We had like different scenarios. We were coming up with behind the scenes, like, oh, one character could do this, and another character could do this. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of fun. There's some secret backstory that I can't go into, because we're doing another live stream. We're doing a bunch of these. We're doing four total, so depending on when this goes up, I want it to go up the day of the live stream. I want it to go up before the other live stream, so it used the promotion. But um, look in the description down below, and uh, the, the link to Scabby Rooster and uh, to the VOD. So make sure to watch the whole video. It's three hours, so you know, set aside some time. Take your normal Netflix time, put this on the TV and watch, okay? Um, but it's, it was a blast. It was so much fun, and I really want to thank everyone who... Doesn't that about sum it up? The eight hours and then the three hours to watch it, depending on you know, how long it is, three hours. Isn't that about the time that... Um, well, that's about the time when Mavic came, but we well, got to eight hours for the 911 call. Anyway, just thought that was weird. Invited me uh, and had me out to do it. And I, I, I'm so excited to reprise my role as Gunther some more. So we'll find out what happens. So as, as of this video, recording this video, I've only done one. I've only done one of the scapular stuff, and they were nice enough to uh, to send me all of the footage uh, so that I can throw it in this video so you've been seeing me in my costume and you know I look fabulous because I am Gunther and, uh, I, and I do um, so uh, you know little backstory <laughs> Gunther he's, uh, he was Queen's best friend and uh, you know close confidant so he's he's having a bit of trouble right now with the Queen gone and uh, there's some there's some craziness happening so it's the day before her wedding and I'm you know I'm trying I'm trying to get everything organized and there's a lot of things going on at the castle yada 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 and then my friend uh the queen's handmaiden comes and finds me and he's like you need to come quick i walk into the room and all of a sudden there is my best friend the queen dead Boop. and uh well I, i've been working on being the queen's best friend for a long time because i like you know i, I live a life of luxury okay i am the queen's best friend i get pretty much whatever i want okay and it's in the great life. Now the queen is gone and I am scrambling because holy crap, I need to hold on to this. I do not want to become, a, you know, a peasant or whatever. Like, I, I, I cannot live on the streets. Look at me. There's no street living for me. I, <laughs> I, I must wear the fanciest of clothes. I eat the fanciest of food and have the fanciest of wine. So it's not happy about the situation. And something needs to be done. He's cute. So I guess <laughs> you just have to wait and see and watch some more of Blank Slate on Scabby Roots to find out. So I'm going to try to have this video up before the next live stream, which means I'm going to have to cut this video short because I have to go and edit this like right now. But uh, thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you check out uh, Blank Slate on Scabby Rooster. It is honestly some of the most fun I've ever had doing YouTube stuff or doing online camera things and stuff um but uh I'll, I'll let wes take it back over yes i know my shoulder didn't get completely off screen but that's fine um so thank you guys very much for watching this i, I honestly like getting to know the larp community and really starting to do this stuff it, it's so much fun everyone is so so nice it's really cool to meet a community of people that are you know just as nerdy as i am and like the same stuff. So it's a lot of cosplayers, a lot of actors, a lot of, you know, people who just genuinely enjoy, you know, jumping into a character and being them for, you know, a weekend or a day or a night. And, uh, you know, I'm get, trying to get a lot of my friends involved and do some more stuff. Um, you know, I talked to Lasercorn, and he said he's very interested, so hopefully I can get him to do some stuff in the future with me with LARP. So if you guys are interested in LARPing, I mean, talk to some people, you can message me on Twitter, on Instagram, I'm gonna keep doing it, because it's just a lot of fun, and hopefully if you guys check out Twin Mask, you'll 
you know, you'll uh, search search me out. It, it was a blast. I met a few people after the fact who were like, hey, you know, it was really crazy seeing you in character because I was a fan of Smosh Games. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. So it's really cool um, to meet these, like, awesome, like, super nice people outside of, you know, real life. Even LARP, it's, it's, it's just a blast. And it's, it's something that you can use to just get away for a little while and just be this fantastical character that you write the backstory for. So, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this. I hope you check out Blank Slate on the Scabby Rooster. It's so cool. Uh, I'm going to have a link to their Twitch channel and a link to the VOD from Episode 1 in the description below. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Okay, so there you have it. So, this is a legit LARPing. You know, like, literally, you're going to be there the next day. You know, you won't be only in spirit. Um, I do believe there are those out there, though. This one does not. I mean, it's a, he did. This is the first one I clicked on, and it's. I mean, I was like, I was sold. I mean, I loved how he started it. I loved how he explained it, and it was like literally. I mean, like he was telling the story. It was just weird. Anyway, plus I could just. I'll probably never do a LARPing, but I'll tell you what. I could watch him all day long. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but uh, he's pretty cute. Um, nice skin too. And I mean that. Nice skin. And hair. So, anyway, in the beginning, when this all started, in November, the middle of November, I accidentally, I don't even know how it happened. Something came across my YouTube or, no, or Reddit or, I don't remember exactly what it was. But, I jumped on it because it was so weird. And I've mentioned it several times in chats, I've mentioned it in my stuff, and no one's ever grabbed a hold of it and wanted to know about it. And this is going to lead me to my next video. And I wish, like, all get if I would have gotten screenshots and I would have dropped down, like, the replies and in, in this, the whole feeds that were the comment, you know, threads. Because, whew, it was something else, put it that way. Um, and all of these people in this particular LARPing group, um, are sponsored by Goon Tape. Now, Goon Tape is a type of tape you wrap around weapon handles and, th you know, things like that so that your hands don't slip when they get wet, and, amongst other things. And they also wear, uh, ski masks, all of them. And they wear those, you know, you know, those onesies, you know, those... Yeah, those kind of suits. I mean, it's... Yeah. Like I said, I wish... It's all gone now. I've got some of it. I've got some of the stuff, and there's a few th things in there that are pretty sketchy, but I wished... Oh, my God, I would have done the, the replies, because, I mean, we probably... This might not... Might not even be here today, talking about this, if this was the case. And this is what I'm going to be bringing, because it's... I don't know. I'm not saying it is. I'm not saying that this is what happened or anything like that. I'm just saying the way I found it and well, how it read was very odd. And uh, the person, this person's still out there. In fact, I've um, checked into his things a couple times. And he's got lots of friends and they like to do the same thing. And they talk really, put it this way, they don't like women very much from what I get. And they're all into, I think, foot fetishes. Yeah. Like, of the worst kind. <laughs> Not just looking at cute toes. Different than that. So, anyway, I'll leave you with this lovely man's funny faces. And I'm going to get this uploaded. And get you guys' brains wondering yet again. Because that's what mine does all the time, man. I'm telling you, I just won't stop moving thinking about this darn case. It's just crazy, right? Anyway, I hope that something <sighs> comes to light very soon. Because I could go down any path. Anybody in that town could be guilty knowing the things that go around there. Literally, you could pick one person. You'd be like, this is why, this is why, this is why. It leads to all of them. All right? All right. Thanks, you guys, for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Ha <laughs> ha.